Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Josh and I make videos about how to make your money go the furthest. So if you're interested in that type of content and you would like to see more like it then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel by smashing that subscribe button below. So in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Wells Fargo Cashwise Visa card. So I'm going to be going over some of the main points of this credit card. I'm going to be listing some of the things that you may like about the card in addition to some of the things that you may not like so much about this credit card. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I'm gonna start this video out by listing some of the things that you may like about this credit card. And that first thing is going to be that $150 spin bonus if you spend at least $500 within the first three months. Additionally, you'll also be earning unlimited 1.5% cash back with this credit card. In addition to that, for the first 12 months of having this credit card, if you use a qualified digital wallet such as Apple Pay or Google Pay, you'll not just be earning 1.5% cash back, you'll actually be earning 1.8% cash back. So it's a little bit more during the first 12 months if you do happen to use something like Google Pay or Apple Pay with this credit card. Another great thing about this credit card is that there is no annual fee. So you have the perk of the spin bonus and the cash back without having to pay anything back to them on an annual basis. And finally, this credit card also offers 0% APR for the first 15 months on all purchases and balance transfers. So that's a pretty sweet bonus as well. And even though it's a pretty sweet bonus, it's probably something I wouldn't take advantage of on purchases, just because people tend to let their balance accumulate a little bit more if they know they're not going to be paying interest on their balance. So I would still pay your balance down on purchases. If you do have a larger balance on another credit card and you wish to do a balance transfer, that might be worth it in that case. That way you can pay that down without having any further interest that you would be paying off on your other credit card. But for purchases, I would use this credit card normally and responsibly and not let your balance accumulate too much. All right, so now that I mentioned some of the things you'll probably really like about this credit card, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the other side of things, some of the things that you may not like so much about this credit card. And we're going to just start out by looking at some of the fees that this credit card has. So as I mentioned before, even though there is a 0% APR on balance transfers for the first 15 months, there is still a balance transfer fee of 5% of the amount of each transaction or $5, whichever happens to be greater. In most cases, that would be the 5%. So if you were to transfer $1,000 over from another credit card over to this one, for example, there would be a $50 fee. In addition to that, there's also a cash advance fee of $10 or 5% of the amount of each transaction, whichever happens to be greater. I would just stay far away from those. In addition to that, there's also a late payment fee of up to $37 and also a return payment fee of up to $37. Those are two fees we don't really necessarily have to worry about as long as we're paying this card off on time. The only fee that this credit card has that I really strongly dislike is that foreign transaction fee of 3%. So if you were to travel somewhere internationally, you would want to go ahead and leave this one home and instead opt to take one of your other credit cards such as a Capital One card or any other card that does not have any type of foreign transaction fee. There's just way too many other credit cards in the market right now that don't have any foreign transaction fees. So I think it's kind of ridiculous that some credit cards still have a foreign transaction fee. So that's the only fee that I kind of find that is ridiculous ridiculous and the only one that I really strongly dislike. Another thing that I don't like so much about the Wells Fargo Cashwise Visa card is the fact that if you do want to cash out your rewards and you do call into them or you want to do it online, they are in $25 increments only, which means unfortunately if you have $15 in rewards, you can't cash those $15 out until you get to at least $25. So there is that bare minimum amount of $25 if you do want to cash your rewards out, which is a little bit unfortunate because with other card carriers, you can have as little as one cent, one penny, and you can have that cashed out in the form of a check or direct deposit. So it's a little bit unfortunate with this card that you have to get to at least $25 to cash those out. And other than that, there's really not a whole lot of other bad things I can say about this credit card, other than the fact that maybe if I wanted to be super picky, I could say that one and a half percent cash back really isn't super great. And even the 1.8% cash back if you use the digital wallet within the first 12 months still isn't super, super great. Just because there is a city double cash card that earns 2% cash back and that card also has no annual fee. So that would be that. Granted, the city double cash card also doesn't have any type of spend bonus. So this credit card would beat that one in, the, in that aspect. 
However, I would say that 1.5% cashback is still solid. I mean, you're not paying any type of annual fee. You're getting a spin bonus. So all in all, it's not too bad of a card. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this one, you would like to see more videos like it, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this credit card, if you currently have it at the moment, what are your experiences with it so far? And until next time, I'll see you guys, and I hope you have a great day today.